Hi, I'm Janet, and this is the Best Birds Kit, and I'm going to show you some little hints and ways to put your cards together. First of all, this is what you are going to receive from Stampin' Up. You're going to get your Best Birds set, your early, early espresso stamp set, stamp pad, your a set of blender pins, and then four re-inkers, which are your Cajun, uh, your Emerald, Dijon, and your Denim. Okay, that total comes to $50.50. .50. And, um, and then you will receive in the mail all of the pieces that you need to put your cards together. Just like this. And there's all four of your pieces of cardstock and stuff there. Okay, now I'm going to show you. These are the cards you'll be making with your bird set. They're all pretty simple, but really fun. That one. There's the blue one. And there's your emerald green one. And you'll notice that um, we use the Moroccan DSP, which has some really fun, bright colors that you can use. Okay. To start off, all you need to do is take your um, vanilla 4x3.5 piece of cardstock and you're going to be stamping, do all of your stamping with your espresso pad. Now it isn't a permanent ink and so you'll need to be a little bit careful but it worked great for all of these projects and went really well together. So, all you're going to do is do all your stamping first, and you can stamp your little flowers on here anywhere way that you want to do it. Um, I, none of mine are the same. They're all a little bit different every time I do it, depending on how I squeeze them in with my leaves and that kind of thing. So, what I used is our empty little containers from our little accessories and things that we get. And I just put a dab of my reinker in my lid. And, and then I'm just going to touch it like this. Right now I'm using Cajun. And I'm going to show you how to color the bird. And you're just going to start coloring it like that. You don't want to work it too much because, like I said, this is not permanent ink here. And so you can smear it especially when you're doing the um, Dijon because that you don't need very much ink on your on your markers here so I like to kind of go a little bit darker on the edges and then just kind of lighten up lighten up in like that so I'm going to kind of work my darker and get a little bit lighter you can you just really can't mess this up it's just really easy to do and you're just going to do it as much color as you would like. You know, pretty much wherever you would like to put it. We're kind of we're just doing the watercolory look here. So nice thing about that is it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So just kind of blend it in any way you want here. Okay, let's add a little bit more to his leaves here, because his wings. Get a little bit more color there. Okay, now you know on your on your blender pins, you just to clean them off, you just go like this, and it cleans them all off like that. Now on the on the branch on this one, since I used espresso, I can just smear it if I want to to get a brown. A light brown. If I want to get a darker brown, I can use my pad, which I would go like this to get some ink on, open it up, and I can use a dab of that if I want darker. See here, the color in my branches. Just depends on what you want to do. See, it's darker there. But you can, since we use espresso and I want my branches to be brown, you can just 
smear it if you want to. Okay, now I'll close this up. Now I'm going to clean my blender pin off. And then you'll just do the same thing with your other colors. If you want to use your Cajun on some flowers, a little bit of Cajun in there. I kind of like to do darker in the middle and then lighten it up a little bit on the tips, like that. Okay? Or you can do them, on this one, I put, I used the Dijon and made my leaves kind of a yellowy color instead of the emerald green, like I did on some of the other ones. So you just kind of finish coloring it as much as you want and whatever you want to do. And then all you're going to do is um, mount your DSP, and it's already been cut and everything. You're going to mount this and put your words over the top, raise, uh, wrap a little bit of twine on there, and look how cute that turns out. Very cute. Let me show you on a couple of the other ones what we did. This one I just used all blues and greens, and I added the little berries. On there and I did them blue and I did the leaves green and this one I didn't color in my branches at all on that one and it's just laid out the opposite of this one and on the Dijon one um, I turned my vanilla cardstock the other direction stamped it used a little bit of the background in the stamp set you might want to stamp that Dijon off if you don't want it too dark and uh, then I just ripped the bottom of it and mounted it like that, added my twine or my linen thread. And then here's the one. Now on this one, I turned my paper the long ways this way and I stamped my branch so it went from tip to tip. And then I just took a pair of scissors and I just cut the bottom of the branch off. So it just gave a little more depth, stamped some flowers and tied a little blob of linen thread around that leaf right there. So these are really easy, fun cards to do, and I love doing um, watercoloring, so they were, it was really fun for me to do these. Now, if you want to, um, you can purchase the framelits that go with the set and cut out your birds and then you, you have a lot more uh, variety of things you can do with them because it will just cut them out for you. Here's some birds I did that I'm going to use on another project. But uh, anyways, so you can step it up once with the framelits. Also, on the framelits, you can, um, they have some other ones in there like this bird. You can also cut out your branches. The framelit has the branches. I'll show you what the framelits look like. Here they are. I I keep mine on a magnet, a piece of magnetic uh, on my cardstock here, so I can don't lose them as easily. So this is what you get. You get your two outline birds, where you stamp watercolor, or you can do birds all by themselves without even stamping them or coloring them and then you've got some flowers some little berries or cherries that you want there that you can cut out if you want to add three dimension here are a few other fun ideas you can do with the best bird stamp set I had a lot of fun with it and I hope you do too